Hello, I'm Richard from Town Valley Aquatics and Pond Guru Landscaping. This is our latest project. Stay tuned, you'll see how we build it. This is the part that m most folks will make a, a hash of, and that's putting the cascade in. We've got the pond liner here, which comes right up under the stream, and we've got the stream liner here, which comes down right over the pond liner, and it's kept in place by the stones inside the pond. We've built up to a level, you know, two or three inches above where the water is at the minute with dry stone wall, as we've done all the way around the inside of the pond. And now we're going to start cementing the stones on to form the cascade.
Here we come to put the spill stone in. The two side pieces here are way higher than the spill stone is going to be. Good bed of mortar down, and then the spill stone will sit nicely on our wall. The rest of the stream was built up, repeating the steps in the beginning of the video, i.e. building a bit of a wall, retaining stones on the side, spill stones, taking it back from there, working up, always from the bottom up over. And then there was a tunnel added at the top of the cascade. Uh, there's a, se a separate video on my channel of the specifics of how to make a stone tunnel, but there's a little bit following this that kind of roughs over it and shows you more or less how to do it. The liner in here is 1 mil Firestone rubber. The underlay is 300 grams per square meter polyester. Stones are all sandstone, apart from the ones at the back here, which are slate, which was already in the garden. The pump is an Aquamax 4000, and the filter is a Filto Clear 11000. 